Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, keep in mind that this may resonate now, the day that you watch it, or at any time in the month. It may, I mean, if you watch this at the end of July, it may resonate then, right? So, we're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides. I use the cards as cue cards. This reading is not going to be like anybody else's. I look at the card and the words start flying. So, let's see what we got. We are going to start right here. What do we got for Pisces for the month of August? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we got for Pisces? Woo! Ace of Cups! Don't get any better than that. This is love. Real love. Love, 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 love. Big love. I mean, this is emotional fulfillment. I see love. You might just meet the one. Or you might come together with the one. This may be the one. You see the one? That might be the one. I guess we're going to do this one next. This might be the one. Pisces. I see love. Ooh, ooh. Well, to get to that love, <laughs> you know, there's usually something that needs to be done, right? To get the big love. To get that big love, you got to go through something, which I know you probably always have, right, Pisces? I mean, it hasn't been easy, I'm sure. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Luckily, this card's going over here. Before the big love. And it was going to go there anyway. So, hey. This is an unrequited love situation that has come to an end or it is coming to an end. Because real love matters. Big love is where it's at. Who the hell wants to be in an unrequited love situation when you can have this kind of love? Not me. I'll wait. Thank you very much. One more card for Pisces, please. So yeah, somebody is leaving behind an unrequited love situation, right? For big love. That's big love. But this is happening this month as well. So this isn't something from, this is recent. This is something recent. No shit. Oh, that's interesting. Let's get one of these. Pisces. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ten of Cups. From the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you go from an unrequited love situation where it's just not. There's no attraction or chemistry there. Right into something very emotionally fulfilling. <laughs> and it gets better. Okay? This is the Ten of Cups. An emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends or friends. Raising children wisely. People you can trust. You're going to go right into a situation that is extremely loving. From from no love 
to love. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Pisces has got a new relationship here. Something that <laughs> is big. Okay, this is big love. You could be dealing with somebody who has a very big heart. And you're doing this out of self-love. And because you love yourself and you are committed to finding love and being in love, you're going to get it. So rest assured, you're going to get it. You are. You are going to get it, Pisces. Ooh. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This woman, she has money in her hand. She has gold in it. Gold. This is uh, abundance. This is abundance. This is a golden opportunity. Be careful. You do need to be careful. You might fall in love. Uh, definitely be careful. Be careful. There's some. This is be careful of something. Screwing it up probably. Um, you got to give. This is lack of reciprocation. This is one sided. So well, let me get the rest of the cards here. Fearful. Hmm. Ooh, here we got the Ace of Cups again. Ooh, we have soulmates here. Well, these two are soulmates. Doesn't matter what sign you are. You probably are dealing with an earth sign. But this is a soulmate connection. But we got somebody here who's too focused on their pentacle. Or too focused on their job, focused on their money, not really focused on a relationship. Or this person may have thrown away the opportunity because he was an idiot. That could have been the case. Probably. Anyhow, yeah, we got a foolish individual who may have thrown away an opportunity. Who knows? Ooh, abuse. We got some abuse here, some neglect. Somebody has neglected, acted foolishly. Somebody may have been neglecting their money or neglecting putting effort into love, cheating. Yeah, somebody may have cheated. Somebody could get caught cheating, and maybe that's why we, what we got going on over here. Because this is, I mean, I don't know. Getting caught in an unfair situation as well. Hold on, let's get the rest of them. Oh, yeah, unfair situation. They just always clear it right up for me. Always. So this is unfair. Yeah, somebody, and I didn't even know. Moving in a better direction, moving forward, leaving that bullshit behind. So Pisces, I feel as though you got yourselves caught in an unfair situation with somebody who wasn't very nice to you. They may have been taking advantage of you. I think you were probably being taken advantage of somebody who was using you for your money. Imagine that shit. That's what happened here. So, looks as though you probably are moving on. This is the outcome right here. This is the approach. Get, move on. Leave that shit behind. Right now, you're focusing on your wish fulfillment. Right now, the challenge is, is this is in your challenge position. Position. I have a hard time talking these days. I just let them guide me and it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Anyhow, Ace of Cups, this is your challenge. Open your heart. Follow your heart, Pisces. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Your challenge is following your heart. There's been a lack of reciprocation here. The very first card... This is what where we're at right now. In in the past, not reciprocating, not giving somebody the time of day, not putting in effort, not you know, it's connected to your challenge, not following your heart. Focusing too much on your money, focusing too much on your business, focusing focusing too much on your coin, not putting in enough effort, not giving, not balancing out your responsibilities effectively anyway um, but there's an opportunity for love here that could lead you to wish fulfillment but you got to move on from something first and and you know that's the truth there's been some unfair treatment here somebody has been dishonest they've been lying somebody has been lying these are mirroring each other the seven of swords with the justice reversed 
somebody has been lying and not telling the truth exactly, keeping to themselves about a relationship. So, we have somebody who has gone through a spiritual awakening. They are waking up. They're waking up. This is unconventional. It's not traditional. There's a lack of faith and trust in a relationship. Somebody doesn't believe. That they will be accepted. Somebody doesn't know. There was a loss. There was some sort of loss here. Of a partnership. But this is a deep, deep, deep bond. So... You have the power, Pisces. The power is in your hands. You are the magician. You have the all the resources and all the tools to get whatever you want. But this is a loss. And that, you know, this is a loss. A loss. No more, not no longer naive. That's for damn sure. Somebody was naive and they threw something away. Why isn't that just the way it goes? Oh, King of Cups reversed. This man, whoever was naive and threw something practical and stable away, was blocking his heart. Not mastering his emotions. Afraid of commitment. This person afraid of commitment. So we got somebody here that has been afraid of, didn't really want to get marriage. This is, these are both marriage. But there could be an engagement here. There absolutely could be an engagement here. Somebody may propose. Pisces. This is, this is coming out of conflict. You gotta unblock your heart. This is making a decision. This is a painful, stressful decision to unblock your heart. So, Pisces, I feel like this is a month that you are going to have an opportunity to. This is a new uh, relationship. This is a relationship. It could be Ace of Cups. Can be new. Or it can be a reconciliation. You have it twice. This is an opportunity to have an emotionally fulfilling life and, you know, you, you know, meet the, this is the one. You may come together with the one, but there's been some sort of loss and there's been unfair treatment. There's probably, there's definitely been some lies. There has, there absolutely has, but there's a deep, deep, deep bond here with the four of wands reversed. This is an upcoming celebration, and this is unexpected, and it could lead to commitment if you could have faith and believe in love. And I know that you guys do, but you tend to block your heart. I mean, that's what this is. I can't pretend that it's not. This is move on. You have the power. You have the resources. To call in, okay? Remember I said that this is, call in your soulmate. This is your soulmate anyway. you got a soulmate connection here, Pisces, in August. But you're going to have to open your heart. And give. You have to give your heart away. I'm sorry, it's just the way it goes. So you, you probably are dealing with a, an earth sign, okay? Earth sign. Um, that's what I think you're dealing with. Um, I think you go from an unrequited love situation into a very emotionally 
<laughs> fulfilling, happy life. I mean, it's the beginning, though. It, it is the beginning. So from this to the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. This is your willingness to take action brings you love. And this is the love of a lifetime. It really is. Good luck.